Welcome to another nature workshop. We've got beautiful blue skies and we're going to explore the pond. So come along with us. For the last few months, ponds have kind of seemed an empty, quiet place, but there's been a lot going on and now you'll start to see some changes. Maybe you'll see some pond skaters or dragonflies maybe even a newt or two but if you keep watching carefully you're going to notice a lot of life starting in the pond one thing that you need when you are investigating ponds not nets or wellies but patience you need a lot of patience it can take a lot of visits to the pond to actually see the frogs or the tadpoles or the frog spawn you have to be patient we need to be patient right now because we just spotted a huge amount of frog spawn but I think there are some frogs moving in there too so we're going to be patiently sitting to see if we can spot one. Did you know that toads lay their eggs in long lines like this but frogs like we saw lay them in clumps of frog spawn in a kind of jelly-like substance. They lay hundreds of them because tadpoles are really vulnerable to predators. But if they do survive, and you probably know this, they start to grow their little legs, lose their tail, and go through metamorphosis to change into a frog. It's a really fascinating process if you get to see all of it. So while we're eating some food and waiting patiently to see the frogs, maybe you could talk about something you've had to wait for. What's been the hardest thing you've had to wait for? And do you have any tips on how to be patient while you're doing it? thinking about ponds this artist Monet popped into my head because of this picture that he painted of his pond it's very famous Monet is really famous for impressionism where he kind of dabbed the paint on rather than doing perfect strokes and this picture is one of his most famous it sold for 40 million pounds then I started thinking about a different artist who used a very different medium. This is Andy Goldsworthy. He's alive still today and he uses nature to make sculptures and art around on the land. He uses all sorts of different things, leaves, twigs, even ice to build different things. He has even been known to use cow poop and human hair. I don't know if I'd like doing that. But his art really inspires me so I kind of mix those two styles together. I took natural items from around me, just like Andy Goldsworthy, but I also tried to give the impression of a landscape, just like Claude Monet. He used to go out and observe and see what he could draw from what he could see. So that's what I tried to do as well. Did use my imagination a little bit because I set it at night time with the moon and the dark sky there. Try not to use too many wet things because that can sometimes make your picture a little bit soggy. But just experiment, have fun, change things around and then just take a picture. And there you go, you've got your own lovely landscape. Are you ready for a three, two, one challenge? Now, if you're doing this near a pond, be very careful, don't fall in. But you might have to do this one on the internet or in a book to see if you can find them. First of all, I want you to spot three things in nature that are changing right now. Just like the tadpoles change, what else is changing in nature? Number two, I want you to find two watery habitats. Could be a pond, could be a river, could be a puddle, who knows? And number one, I want you to find a frog. One frog, whether that's in a pond or on the internet, see what you can find out. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Frogs are amphibians. We're going to learn a little bit more about those. See if you can spot the fake fact. So just put your hands on your head, your shoulders or your knees to choose which fact you think is false. So this is a smooth newt or a common newt. Here are some facts about them. Smooth newts spend the winter under rocks. They bury in the mud. Smooth newts only eat on land. And these newt tadpoles have feathery gills. Which one do you think is false? It's the middle one. Your hand should be on your shoulders. Well done if you got that right. These are tricky, so just have a go. This is a natterjack toad. I love that name. Let's read some facts about these. Which one do you think is false? Natterjack toads are mainly nocturnal. They only come out at night. They breed in warm, shallow pools on sand dunes. And one clutch can contain 10 to 20 eggs. What do you think? Which one is fake? It's the bottom one. I'm pretty sure they lay more eggs than that. 
Let's see for this last one, we've got a cane toad. He looks a little bit grumpy. Let's find out a bit more about him. So cane toads are fussy eaters. They only eat certain insects. A group of cane toads is called a knot or a nest and they are toxic. You do not want a cane toad sandwich. Which one do you think is thick? The top one, they are not fussy eaters at all. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.